The next lesson is Texas Lakes and Ponds. Texas has over 1.2 million acres of freshwater lakes, ponds, and reservoirs, and that's as of the year 2013. These bodies of lintic water, lintic means water that is not flowing, these bodies of lintic water are among Texas's most known and popular aquatic ecosystems. Almost all of Texas lakes and ponds were built by placing dams across streams or rivers. Because of this, they can also be called reservoirs. Usually, only very large bodies of water are actually named reservoir. All the rest of the water bodies are usually called a lake or pond, depending on the size. These range from small ranch and farm ponds of less than an acre to large lakes containing millions of acre feet of water, such as Lake Louisville near Dallas, Texas, or Lake Travis near Austin, and Lake Amistad on the Rio Grande. Texas lakes, ponds, and reservoirs have been built to hold water for use by people for drinking, production of electric power, reduce flooding, or for use in agriculture, such as for watering crops and ranch animals, and for recreation, such as fishing and boating. This water is critical to the Texas economy. There are over 200 major reservoirs and over 5,000 smaller ones in Texas. Caddo Lake, shown here, is the only naturally formed large lake in Texas. It's located on the border between Texas and Louisiana. Although a natural log jam created the lake, today, dams and reservoirs keep its waters under human control. The wetlands in Lake Caddo are so important that the lake has received international protection under the Convention on Wetlands of International Importance. Despite such protection, the lake's native aquatic life is currently threatened by a fast-spreading invasive aquatic plant called giant salvinia. This plant grows so fast that it can double in size every two to four days, rapidly covering the water surface with leaves, killing off life in the water below. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department biologists are pictured here sampling giant salvinia that's infesting Cato Lake's waters.